Hey guys, Matt in Japan here, back with another non-Transformers video. Um, I did one yesterday with the uh, Tri-Titans, and today we have the uh, Dino X from Marushin. Um, and again, I uh, got these at a local recycle shop, and something I've never seen before, although I did have a comment on Reddit about uh, someone commented that they had seen these before, and done a review on them a long time ago, so I'm not quite sure when they came out or whatever. Maybe you can check the back for the date. Um, but yeah, I saw them and I paid about 2,000 yen, which is about a little under $20, so about 4 or $5 a piece, roughly. Um, and I just thought they looked really neat. Um, kind of a, uh, a take on the uh, Dinobots here. Um, and they do look a lot better uh, than the last uh, thing I reviewed yesterday. Those things were um, very, very cheap, cheap looking and cheap plastic and all that. So um, let's take a look at the packaging. They came all sort of taped together, so I'm just gonna kind of go one by one here. Um, and again, all the packaging is exactly the same. Um, at the top, it says uh, Dinosaur Transformer, basically, uh, Dino X. And then, um, this is Madushin. And so this is the the green guy here. Um, not Stegosaurus, maybe, looks like. I'm not up on my, my dinosaur language here. Um, and they have really cool stickers on them. They have stickers and some paint details and stuff like that. Um, and then below him is the uh, Triceratops, which is done in yellow. And again, they all have weapons and stuff, and uh, his sticker is kind of peeling off there. I'll have to fix that. And here we have the, was it Brontosaurus, I think? I'm not sure. Again, um, the blue with the long neck there. It's got some sort of dual swords on the back, which is pretty cool. Um, and I love the, uh, the little stickers on these guys. They look really cool. And on the top right, we have the T-Rex, I think. Um, again, some nice silver paint there and things. And we'll go into a little bit more detail once we get into the packaging. Um, so there they are as a whole. And let's see, just take a look at the back. And again, uh, just like a lot of these sort of, can't really call them knockoffs because they're not really knockoffs of anything, but sort of these fake transformers, I guess you can call them. Um, the back of the packaging is exactly the same. It shows you the dino mode, uh, how to transform into robot mode. And then again, yes, these combine into one big super dino bot, which looks pretty cool. Uh, but we'll see how he sort of fares against the, uh, the one that I did yesterday. So we'll put this guy back and I'm going to open him up and we'll see how cool they are out of package. Okay, so we got them out of the package and yeah, these things are uh, like a slight improvement over uh, the ones I reviewed before. The plastic's still pretty cheap, but it's a little bit better. The quality's a little bit better. So I'll take a look at this guy first. Um, he's a Stegosaurus. He's got some, you know, decent-ish paint on him. Some silver there. This sticker is coming off. This is number two. Um, some kind of nice gray plastic there. Um, and these weapons come off. These just kind of peg into the side, which is kind of cool. So all these weapons do come off. And he does have, um, he does have some, they do have some arm articulation and stuff, so. And tail, little tail wag there. I don't know if that's just loose or what, but. So anyways, that's the Triceratops. Put that back on. And then we'll move on to number, what's this, number four, the Stegosaurus. Yeah, I'm not doing these in order, obviously. Um, this guy's pretty cool. Cool stickers on his head. And again, these side uh, cannons or whatever you want to call them come off. Um, tail kind of wags. Um, this is kind of cool, the, 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 uh, the spikes up here. And this is really cool, kind of a graded Silver paint there, number four. Yeah, he's a cool little guy. I think these guys are kind of cute. Um, here is the, oh, and his mouth opens. Here is the, uh, who's this guy? T-Rex, 
So he's got, yeah, he's got his mouth open. He's got some, some silver paint there going down. Um, he's got a little tail wag too. And he's got some stickers on the back. And some articulation. These can kind of move forward and back. Um, this guy's kind of hard to stand up. But he does. And last but not least is the blue guy, number three. He's the sort of brontosaurus. And he has some, he's got some articulation here. So he can go back. Um, his tail, this guy's tail doesn't move. Um, but the, the legs go, kind of, whoa, the legs come off. Yeah, see, they're just, they're just pinned in there. This, um, again, don't get your uh, hopes up with these things. Made in China, of course. Um, so yeah, there is some, some movement in the feet and stuff and, and a little bit in the neck. And whoa, okay, these are all just, yeah, that's interesting. You can sort of peg them on either side. Must be for the uh, transformation of the, the big dino mode, the big robot mode guy. Um, and yeah, these swords just peg on here. So anyways, so those are the kind of four there in uh, uh, dino mode. Let's get these transformed into robot mode. Okay, so we have them uh, transformed into robot mode. And I say that uh, like this, robot mode. Um, <laughs> they're very uh, simple in their transformations. Um, and they don't really have heads. They're just kind of... Kind of little robot kind of I don't know this guy kind of looks like a he's got wheels on the side I mean I don't know they're they're kind of cute or whatever um, but yeah no real head so I'm not gonna spend too much time on these um, this actually this part actually pulls down and stuff so at least it has like some legs and you kind of take off the uh, weapons and they kind of form the hands and stuff and this guy too doesn't really have a head it's very abstract so you got to use your imagination which is cool um, and yeah, these, you know, they do have sort of molded in uh, hands and detail and stuff. And I really like the colors. I love the color scheme. Um, the uh, very primary colors, except the green, obviously. And this guy just has it's kind of like a dome. Yeah, his like feet form his hands and stuff. Um, so yeah, so there's the, uh, there's the robot, the robot mode in quotation marks. Um, and yeah, finally, let's uh, get this guy combined, see how he fares as a big uh, dino beast here. Okay, guys, so here we have Dino X in his combined mode. Um, <clears throat> he's kind of uh, a mix and match of uh, things. You can kind of pull apart uh, all the pieces and things and, and put them together, um, which is pretty cool. Um, so like all the uh, all the the limbs and stuff like that, like form guns and things. Um, and his head, he actually has like a decent-ish head. Um, this part can like come up if you want. But it looks kind of silly. Um, yeah, and again, these things don't, these things don't really peg in that, that great. But again, for what it is and, you know, how much, how much it is. Um, actually, I, I much prefer this guy. Uh, he's a little bit more beefier. Um, and I like how all the uh, the things can combine. So he, to the, the sword and the uh, other uh, weapon combined to form like a, a sword and things. Um, and then he's got the uh, Triceratops head as a uh, kind of a double pistol here. Um, so yeah, because these just kind of pop in like this, they're just pegs and slots here um so he does have you know he can kind of move his arms um he can't really move his head um he can kind of move his uh he can move his lower his hip his leg there um so yeah as far as articulation wise you know obviously you're not going to get much out of him but um just like looks wise i think he's he's pretty cool looking um i really like the uh the kind of the shoulder cannons and stuff he's got going on um, and just like the, the color scheme too. I really like the colors. He's a little bit, a little bit back heavy, but I think it's all the, the gear I have on him. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna bring in the other guy that I reviewed yesterday. Um, what's his name? Tri-Titan. Let's grab him for comparison. 
And Tri-Titan, yeah, he is a lot bigger. Um, sort of similar color scheme. All these sort of cheap uh, toys, kind of fake Transformer toys, are, uh, all have that same sort of primary color scheme going on. Um, and comparatively, yeah, I, I definitely like the, uh, the Dino X uh, figure better. A little bit better plastic. Um, there's more you can do with them. You can take apart, you can pull him apart, and you can probably create a few other different modes and things like that. Um, you are you are left with some, um, you know, I'm left with like some some guns and things, but I think I can peg those on somehow. Um, and of course, like a couple little like dino. Even right there, you can you know make like a, you can make like a little uh, a new, new dino dinosaur or whatever. Um, so yeah, I, I definitely like the uh, the Dino X figure better. This guy, um, yeah, he's fun or whatever, but just uh, he he is one of those cheap toys you look at and it just breaks. So I'm gonna keep him in combined mode. So put him off to the side, and he definitely stands a little bit better. This guy here. Um, so yeah, for uh, Dino X, take one more quick look here, Dino X. Um, for the four Dinobots that combine. Oh, now I'm seeing here we got Torikira Mecha. Okay, Triceratops and Mecha. They're all Mecha. Bronto Mecha. Okay, Stego Mecha, Stegosaurus, and Tyrano. Tyrano Mecha. So Tyrannosaurus Mecha. So they're all Mechas. Um, Again, there they are in their dino modes. And I think I pretty much just went off the picture. I couldn't get a really clear um, idea. I mean, it's, it's, it's pretty clear, but it's a little bit tricky. But I think um, the most fun with this toy is just kind of building it yourself and, and um, seeing what other kind of modes you can come up with. So anyways, uh, this has been Matt in Japan. Thanks for watching.